Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. So um, we are up to day 11 on our 30 purple inks 30 days and I just wanted to show the card from yesterday. This is the Troublemaker Purple Yam and I just wanted you to see that it did have a little bit of a halo. Not a whole lot of sheen but let me see if I can catch it in the light. Um, just a little halo but still very interesting. Um, it did clean out of the pen fairly easily. Um, I was trying to remember, there was another Troublemaker ink that I used um, back in June when I was doing blue inks, and it took forever to clean it out of the pen. I was thinking maybe it was blue guitar, but actually maybe, was it Donya Victorina? I can't remember. But one of them, I just, I cleaned and cleaned and cleaned, and it seemed like the ink was never going to come out of that pen. So I was a little worried about the purple yam, but it cleaned out fine. Um, actually, the converter was a bit harder to clean than the pen was, but um, I just, um, I don't know if you guys do this, but I kind of roll up a little bit of paper towel and stick it in the converter and swish it around. Anyway, I got it clean. So now, let's pick our ink for day 11. Hmm, let's see what we've got here. Oh, you can see the purple yam <laughs> from where I was cleaning the pen. All right. Ooh, this is Noodler's North African Violet, and this is a sample, and it's a sample that Fountain Pen Insanity sent to me. Woo, woo. Okay, I'm going to go get it, and I will be right back. Okay, so here is the sample that Sarah sent to me, and please note her lovely, neat handwriting. Noodler's North African Violet. And I was so excited to get this one in our sample swap. So, um... Gosh, I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to be doing here. Yes. Oh, long day at work. So, um, yes. So I have, I swatched this ink in my ink journal when I got her package. But I, mm, I'm trying to remember if I've used it. Did I put it in a pen? Good heavens, I can't remember. Okay, did we get some ink? I think we did. Okay. Um, but yes, I think this ink is beautiful, and I probably have a bottle of it in my future. I need to check with the Norfolk Stationery and see if they have a bottle of it. They do have a really nice selection of noodlers inks. I found some really interesting ones there. Alrighty, so I will close up the sample and now we're going to do our, uh oh, <laughs> we're going to save the pen and then we're going to do our swatch card. So this is noodlers North African Violet. Oh, I think it's just such a pretty color. Oh, oops, I keep closing up the sample. That is not a bad thing because we don't want to spill the sample. That is so pretty. It's so vibrant. as many noodlers inks are. Woo! It's just running off the page. Very nice. All right. So now I'm going to close up the sample and we are going to put the swatch card aside and we're going to do a little bit of writing. My um my, I hadn't put the lid on the Murasaki Shikibu very well, and it um, it tipped over and it leaked just a little bit. So I had to clean up the cap some, so my paper towel has gotten very purple. Alright. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. 
Well, the swatch card fell over, and of course it fell, it fell face down. As things always do, whenever you drop your toast, it always falls butter side down, right? Okay. So... Right. So let's take a look at our writing. And let's see. It's a beautiful color. I just love it. I see a little bit of shading on the broad nib, but well, a little bit in the fine nib. But it's such a pretty color that I don't mind if it shades or not. <laughs> I just really like it. All right, let's take a look at the Claire Fontaine. And there's my accidental ink, ink splat with the sample card. Tisk tisk. All right. So this is the Claire Fontaine paper. And again, a little shading on the broad nib. When I kind of smeared it a little bit. Still such a pretty color. All right. So let's do our calendar square. And today's tape is in honor of my boss who's leaving. Today was her last day and she loves Halloween. So I'm using this very cute Halloween tape. Oh, can you see that? It's purple with moons and kitties. And I thought it was very nice. Purple because it's the month of purple inks. And Halloween in honor of her last day. And she's probably not watching this video, so... I can say this without worrying about making her feel guilty, but the chaos will ensue now that she has gone. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how things go. But she will be missed. Okay. So where is my little Q-tip? I'm sure it doesn't matter how I apply the ink, but I feel like I need to go across the square. Ooh, I just caught a whiff of this stuff. It's some funky smelling ink. But I think a lot of Noodler's inks are funky smelling. And I've noticed that other inks smell really good. Like, there's several Diamine inks that smell really nice. And I just opened, um, 
oh, you know what? I made a video of a new ink that I got, and I haven't posted it yet, so I'm not going to say which ink it is. <laughs> but it smells really good, and I do mention that in the video, so you'll, you'll see that when the video goes up. Um, okay, so now we are going to look at our swatch card. I just wonder if they intentionally put something in the inks to make them smell good. And, you know, Nathan Tardif is so practical that he wouldn't mess with something like that. He just mixes the ink and it smells the way it smells. But then maybe another ink producer might want to make it smell nice. So maybe they put something in it to change the way it smells. I don't know. How do you feel about ink smells? I find them fascinating. Okay, so here is our swatch card. And I'm not seeing any sheen or halo or anything like that. And again, I think this would be a shader in a broader nib. Okay, so let's see who else we have here. Hmm. Well, here is our ink from yesterday. Definitely not even close. So this one is kind of a medium purple. So let me pull out some medium purples. There is Alexander Hamilton. He is much redder. All right, there is Dimine Imperial Purple. Again, he is redder, but not as red as Alexander Hamilton. There is DC Pri uh, Private Reserve DC Super Violet. Now that's closer in color, but I think it's um, I think it's darker or more saturated, maybe. And it definitely has some sheen to it. Let's see what else we have here. Alright, here is Robert Oster, Bishop to King. Now I would say this one is more saturated and this one is less saturated. But still about the same color, if that makes sense. So they're just different saturation levels of the same color. There is Monbado's hat. He is redder. Here is Tasha Murasaki. And hmm, I would say that he is redder too. There is Nemesine Haley's Comet. And that is much paler. It's a pretty ink, but it's a very light ink. And let's see. There is Colorverse Delicious Sleep. And I would say that he is a bit redder. I don't know. I'm, I'm liking one of these two as my best match. What do you think? Here is Murasaki Shikibu. This was the naughty ink bottle that leaked. And again, lighter. Let me see. Just for fun, comparing that to Delicious Sleep. I think Delicious Sleep is a bit redder. But they're along the same lines, but definitely not a match for today's ink. Here is Monteverde Amethyst. And... I would say he is lighter. Here's Diamine Violet. And that's kind of a softer blue color. And there's one of my favorites, Hayabusa. And I would say this one is more vivid, but not quite as dark as the DC Super Violet. But not, not close to North African Violet. And of course it has that gorgeous green sheen. Oh, this ink is so pretty. I love it. Well, let's see. There is Twisby Royal Purple. That was our day one ink, and he looks much redder. And I think those might be about my closest ones. Let me see. I'm just giving one more look here. Oh, did we look at our friend Sherawite? He is looking bluer. Nope. Don't like him either. Let's see. Of course, I've got Dragon's Knight, which is much darker. Hmm. Well, here is Private Reserve Purple Mojo. 
Now that is very close to DC Super Violet, but I can't see any sheen on it. So I would think that would make it closer to North African Violet because this does not have any sheen. Bishop to King has a little bit of sheen, and the DC Super Violet has some sheen. So I think he has jumped into first place. What do you think? And I think those are about the best ones. Oh, here's my better sample <laughs> of Shara White. I have to get rid of those, those older swatch cards because I just don't like them. But yes, this one is looking much bluer compared to our ink of the day. All right. Oh, one more. Lamy Azurite. And again, it's close to the color match, but heavy on the green sheen. So I would not say that he's a good match. Okay. So I think I would have to go with the Purple Mojo. What do you think? Bishop to King is close, but just a little bit lighter. So I think these two are a pretty good match. All right. So let's look at our calendar square. Ooh, and let's hope this washi tape comes off very nicely with no tearing. I just have to pull it off carefully. And so far, so good. Okay, success. Oh, and let me write the name on. I keep forgetting to write the names on them. So this is Noodlers. North African Violet. Hmm. Very pretty. Ooh, which one did I say that was a good match for? Purple Mojo, I think, which I haven't used on this spread yet. But here's the DC Super Violet right above. So yeah, you can see that the DC Super Violet is darker. But it's a very pretty color. And actually, just looking at these squares, I would say Mur uh, Murasaki Shikibu would be close, but it really wasn't on the swatch cards. So it's always interesting how inks look different in different places. Cool. Okay. Well, I think that will about do it for today. So here is our our lovely washi tape, which will commemorate a sad event, and it's trying to run away. And where's our sample? There we are. All lovely things together. So that will do it for Friday, September 11th. And hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow. Oop, I got to get this in the frame. Is that in the frame? <laughs> I think it is. Okay, goodbye.